up YouTube, it's your boy Joshua Black, the Urban Black Vegan, coming to you with a brand new episode, episode number So in this episode, we're gonna talk about supplements. More specifically, we're talking about vitamin D, especially if you're vegan, especially if you're black or a person of color. Okay, so here's the deal. So if you work indoors, you wear sunblock, you're doing a good job of protecting yourself from skin cancer. But chances are you could have some level of vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency is common among all age groups. And it's estimated that over a billion people worldwide have inadequate levels. It's recognized as a pandemic. Additional factors such as dark skin, low HDL cholesterol, now that's the good cholesterol, low dairy consumption, and obesity also increase the risk of vitamin D deficiency. See, I'm not saying that you should stop protecting yourself against skin cancer. Of course not, I'm not saying that. But if you're having vague symptoms of tiredness, aches and pains, or frequent infections and don't know why, it could be that you are vitamin D deficient or you're not getting enough vitamin D. Vitamin D is important in calcium absorption. So some of the signs of not getting enough are related to insufficient calcium, relating to bone strength. The best way to find out, of course, of course, is to see your physician and get uh, your blood levels checked. That's the best way to check all of it out, of course. But I'm just here to say that just be mindful. See, some of the symptoms that may indicate vitamin D deficiency are frequent bone breaks, inadequate bone growth in children, muscle weakness and aches, frequent colds, flus, respiratory tract infections, tiredness, aches and pains. There are also some pretty serious potential long-term consequences of vitamin D deficiency. So you gotta take this serious. See, some of the risks include increased risk of common cancers, autoimmune diseases, cardiovascular diseases, immune function, hypertension, muscle weakness, and infectious diseases. I mean, this could be serious. And like I said, if you are darker skin, black, people of color, most likely, and especially if you're living here on the East Coast like me, during the winter time, you're not in sunny LA or California where you're getting all this sun all the time, chances are there may be a possibility that you are vitamin D deficient. So the recommendation for daily intake of vitamin D is about 400 IU for infants, 600 IU for children and adults, and 800 IU for the elderly that's over 70, and also that goes for pregnant women and women who are lactating. If you're probably planning on taking a supplement of vitamin D, which I strongly recommend, but once again, check with your doctor. I'm not a doctor, I'm just a vegan dude in Philly who knows a little bit about a little bit. So with that being said, so if you're planning on taking a supplement, you wanna take D3, not D2, take D3. That's the form you wanna take. Also, vitamins A, K2, and magnesium help your body use vitamin D. But I'm hoping that you're getting a sufficient amount of veggies and greens and, and fruits to supplement the vitamin D supplement that you're gonna take, right? See, the fact is, few foods naturally contain vitamin D. So if you're going to try to boost your vitamin D intake with food, you need to be very specific on what food sources. See, sources good, I mean, sources that include vitamin D are sources like fatty fish, salmon, sardines, tuna, eggs, liver, and cod oil. Now, God only knows, being vegan, we're not gonna touch any of that stuff. So the best thing to do is just to take the supplement. But once again, check with your doctor, just to make sure. So I just wanted to drop that bit of knowledge. As vegans, as vegans, some of vegans believe that we can get every nutrient, everything we possibly need from plants, from fruits, and that's not 100% of the case. The fact of the matter is, 
We need stuff like B12. We need vitamin D, especially if you are here, you know, in places where you don't get a lot of sun, like here in Philly, East Coast, especially black people where we don't do a lot of sunbathing. We don't run to the sunniest spot and just lay in the sun. Let's be real, a lot of black people don't do that. Not to say there's some who will, but most black people, we don't do that. So it's very important to know what things we need to supplement our body so we can be healthy vegans. So once again, this is Joshua Black coming right at you with another episode of the Urban Black Vegan. Until next time, 